it is finally that time of year. EDC Las Vegas is approaching. We're about two months away right now as I'm recording this. Um, I wanted to sit down and make the video this way as opposed to the regular vlog style that I did for EDC 2022. Specifically because last year as I was filming walking through the festival at EDC, um, I got a little like caught up and just like having fun and enjoying the moment and realized that once I went back after the festival and kind of went back and looked at everything that I filmed, like all the content that I got, it just seemed kind of lackluster, like not enough to like actually put together a vlog. Excuse my dog. Um, so I wanted to do it more kind of like this and talk about things and show clips with what I'm talking about as opposed to just like mushing all these clips together and hoping it sticks as a vlog. So the first major difference that you're going to notice between my 2022 EDC vlog and this recap video is that this year or last year, we actually decided to do RV camping as opposed to the tent camping that you saw in my first vlog. So we actually waited entirely too long to get camping passes for EDC. So once about February, no, not even February, it was I think April, April rolled around and I decided to join the uh, camping wait list just in case something opened up because we we were so far behind on figuring out where we were going to stay. So we had booked a room somewhere on the strip for like a cheap price, but we knew that we didn't really want to do that. So I was like, let me just get on the wait list just in case for Camp EDC and see if that makes any uh, type of difference. And of course, about three weeks before the festival, I get... Um, notification from EDC that was like you have been removed from the waitlist you now have an RV camping spot um your card will be charged in two days so if you are skeptical about joining the EDC or camp EDC waitlist I'm telling you you will likely get it if you get on there now or at a certain point and you just are patient you will get off that waitlist just know that that money will be coming out of your bank account and within like a day or two um and I believe the camping pass was about $600 after tax. And the camping pass was good for eight people. So um, we only camped with four, but we ended up selling the wristbands to other people that wanted to just come into camp anyway. But uh, yeah, okay, first things first. When you show up to Camp EDC determines where your campsite is going to be. So we showed up, I want to say, about eight o'clock or seven or eight o'clock at night on Thursday. So day zero or, you know, the first day of camp and our RV spot, when we saw where we were parking, we were like, holy, like we are so far away from everything. This sucks. We should have got here earlier, whatever, whatever. But once we actually parked, unloaded our, you know, campsite and set everything up, the walk to the Mesa, which again, if you don't know what the Mesa is, the Mesa is the main hub of camp. That's where your rides and everything is, music, all of that. Um, the walk to the Mesa actually was only about five minutes long and the walk to the festival entrance was about fifth, like 10 or 15. So it wasn't that bad. Um, I will say my favorite thing about where we were parked this year for Camp EDC for RV camping, there was um, restrooms and showers that were like two minutes away from where we were parked that I guess no one else knew they were there except for the people who were parked by us because when I tell you there was never a single line and they were super clean because of like nobody was using them so it was really nice that I think that we kind of got like lucky getting pushed into the corner because we had bathrooms that literally no one was using our rv actually had its own water and shower but because we had rented it we didn't really want to use up the water that was within our rv because then we would be charged to um like do all the water refills and things like that so one thing a lot of people asked is uh about inspect in uh, inspections so if you do bring your own RV, whether you rented it, it's your personal RV, doesn't matter. Every RV that's going into camp has to go through an inspection, okay? They're inspecting several different things, but um, the first thing they're looking for is to just making sure that your RV has everything that's required to be at camp. Like you have to have a generator that, you know, has a certain amount of power like there's all these different things just for your own safety they're checking like your tires making sure everything looks good um 
And then after that, they're obviously making sure that you're not bringing anything into the festival that could harm you or another person. So obviously no firearms allowed. They're looking for any illegal contraband, anything like that. Um, now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, okay, well, how extensive is the search? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know because they actually make you get out of the vehicle while they go inside and search the RV. So in our situation, we had our festival wristbands, but you don't get your Camp EDC wristbands until you actually go show your ID, show your confirmation, show that you're who you are. Um, and while you're doing that, they're inside your RV inspecting. So you don't actually know kind of like what they're looking at or what they're looking through. Um, we didn't have anything really to hide. I mean, I think the only thing that we weren't allowed to bring in was like bottles of liquor. Like you can bring in beers and, you know, seltzers and all that. I think their only rule was just no glass like bottles. And I think we did have some glass bottle, like, like bottles of alcohol. So we were trying to like store those so that they didn't take them away but once we went back in we saw that they didn't touch them so um that was fine but yeah right, so enough about day zero i'm gonna get into the recap section of this video of day one of edc <laughs> After a shower, it literally was so fast, not a single line, and the showers were so clean, water was warm. I like took kind of a little bit of a cold shower. World War II veterans ate rations for years. I can eat Incrustables for three days. Right now, leading up. 
Who wants to go? Everyone is like zombie mode already, and day one of the festival hasn't even happened. But we found a familiar face. Hello. All right, what are you most excited for today? Honestly, the noisy back to back West End set at, I think, 4 o'clock. 4 a.m.? No, for, for, for right now, yeah, but once, oh, we go, yeah. once we go in, I honestly have no fucking clue. There is so much going on. The stages this year, or the conflicts, are insane. Yeah. Like, you really are picking and choosing who your favorite people are, and that's about it. So, any other words? Let's just get fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
got a baby shot from tequila right here. You know, nothing major. <laughs> nothing major. Um, and yeah, we're exhausted. Lex is dying behind the camera. <laughs> but we're gonna keep doing it because this is what we're here for. Yeah. Marty. Woo! Whoa. Take the shot. day two we're about to walk over to the festival obviously the vibe from yesterday didn't carry over to today in terms of outfits uh, we're literally looked up today I know that she's gonna be wearing basic outfit too like we're both just like fuck it um, I got my pigtails because I like to have bang with pigtails. Um, I'm wearing my excision jersey. Um, what are you drinking tonight? What is your drink of choice this festival? Because I know what your drink of choice is at this festival. Beatbox! <laughs> Beatbox! Beatbox! Sponsor her! Yeah, sponsor me. Beatbox, if you see this video, sponsor me, please. <laughs> like, I'm literally your number one fan, I swear to God. She spent almost, probably... She said 80, but she was more than 80. And I'll tell you that right Every now. Every time I disappeared from the group, I came back with a new B-Box. Like, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Okay, no. this, here's the fits. Updated, ball full up. Ba 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 Take this. Oh yeah, recording. Hug, all of it, right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Not the surge. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
and the sun's up. We're here at the after. Music. Music. <laughs> That's your mic. <laughs> Just hitting the microphone. You put the mic in your mouth. That explains the state of us today. We actually slept today. We got back at like 6.30 and we woke up at like one o'clock. So That's the most sleep we've gotten. I know. Wow, look at us. Holy shit, it's hot. It's hot as fuck. The ground is just radiating. Yeah. I can't sleep. We need to go take a shower. We're gonna go shower. And then I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. But we'll see. Um, we're gonna go to the Mesa make some candy while we're there because we got these really cute little like base head beads EDM as fuck um and then okay girl okay this is what I'm wearing when we walk around because it's too fucking hot to wear anything else I would go naked if I could what time did we wake up today two o'clock what time did we get back this morning 6 30 in the morning <laughs> 